this video, I'm gonna show you how to get started training with your Japanese bow, your Korean long staff, or any other style of martial arts long staff. It could be a Kung Fu staff. These, I'm gonna show you the basics the way I've showed it to thousands of other students, and you're gonna pick it up very quickly. Grab your staff and follow me. Start, your, start with your hand in the middle of your staff, and you're gonna turn it up. It doesn't matter which hand. The other hand's gonna come on top, and it's gonna grab it, turn it all the way, grab under, and then turn it up again so that the pinky side is facing up. Grab, sliding down that elbow. Turn it with your other hand. Come under it. Turning up, grab. This is your warm-up spin. And these spins are not used to fight with, but it is important to strengthen your hands and your wrists with this movement. Once you've done that, you're gonna bring it to a stop by just putting the hand there and then let it go back the other way. Again, pinky side comes up, slide down that elbow, grab below it after it does a full turn. Now with all of these moves, slow is smooth and smooth is fast. That means go slowly at first, get a feel for it, Take your time, gradually you'll start to get more efficient with the moves, that's the smooth part. And then once you become more efficient, more smooth, you'll go quicker, you'll go faster. Slow is smooth, smooth is fast. Bring that to a stop, and now I wanna show you some basic strikes. The first set are gonna be palms, both hands facing the same direction like you're doing a push-up. You're gonna step with one foot in front, and I want you to punch, just like you're punching to the temple. This is how you use your staff for self-defense, and I want you to see it right from the start. From here, you're punching up and punching up. Each time you do the strike, bring it to the top of that elbow. Strike into the temple first, and now to the knee, just goes down. Make sure your eyes are looking straight. Again, you're stopping here. Expect to get a little bit of bruising there the first few weeks of training. Don't worry, you'll toughen up. And then once you get them, do the two up and the two down. Now, since you already have it in this position, a high block, someone's coming here. Now, if someone's trying to hit you with another stick or uh, a machete or a knife or something that's sharp, try not to block their stick better than nothing, but it'll probably break or cut through your stick, your martial arts staff. When you go up this way, and they're coming down this way, you're trying to catch their arm. This is true of all blocks. When someone has a weapon in their hand, you're not trying to block the weapon, you're trying to block the arm that's holding the weapon. So practice now, bring it into your chest, pushing up, into your chest, pushing straight down. And this is when the attacks come in here, they could be kicking, Maybe they're trying to grab you. Maybe they're trying to stick something in you. Block the arm. Up, down. Make sure it's forceful. Don't go through the motions. Always exhale. Exhale on that block. Make it more forceful. Get everything tight. So now you have the strikes up, down, high block, low block. From here, bring the hand up so one hand is above your head. That means your staff will clear. Punch is coming to your face. Clear it this way. Turn it and clear it back. Same rule. Exhale. Now I want you to do another spin. This time, put it in one hand and you're gonna go into a figure eight motion around your body. And again, if you're not using this to attack or defend, you can, but it's not as practical as the basic strikes and blocks. This is to develop flexibility and control, strength, speed, in your strikes and blocks later. 
because you practice this. This is practice. Once you've done that a little bit, put in the other hand by grabbing behind pinky to pinky, switch the feet, lead with the thumb, pushing down. Once you get it, speed it up, speed it up. Remember, you're grabbing pinky to pinky behind when you switch. Grab behind. When I bring the left hand over to the right side of my body, that's when I switch on the forward rotation, the board figure eight. I bring the right hand to the left side, grab behind, and then spin. Once you get that motion, hand to hand. What you're trying to do is create proprioception. You wanna know how things move through space and time. You wanna get a sixth sense, be able to grab that thing out of the air, pick it up and defend yourself with it. Practice spinning. Now, back to the strikes. The second way to strike is an alternating grip. Before we were doing the push-ups, now you're here. This is my left hand, my left foot's forward. I'm gonna bring this one right here, either on the temple or right on top of the head. The way I do that is I bring it down here, striking with this tip, stopping again in the same position. You can also let it come under a little bit, but you're bringing it down here forcefully, striking, and then you're gonna add a second strike across the chin, coming this way. So I'm coming down, now I'm coming across. This is the left strike, right strike, and now I'm gonna jab straight into your face. One, two, three. One, two, three. Practice. Now those are some basic moves. I want you to get really good at that spinning, but I also want you to get good at those basic strikes and blocks. Let me know in the comment section below what else you wanna work on.